Today I'm going to show you how to access your Google Calendar from the command line in Linux uh, using a tool called GCal CLI. Uh, so first thing you have to do is install GCal CLI using the sudo aptitude install GCal CLI, which stands for Google Calendar Command Line Interface. I uh, also want to mention that the tutorial I'm doing right now, uh, I'm doing it, I create a bash script to do the tutorial mainly to hide my username and password. Um, so that's why I'm not actually typing out the commands like I normally do. Anyway, once you install that, you know, it will ask for your root password uh, or your sudo password and it will also want to install some Python modules or so just go ahead and click yes to that, let it download and install. Once it's downloaded and installed, type out this command gcal uh, cli dash user and then your username dash dash pw password and then we're going to do cal w which stands for week because we're going to get the week view now you do need a google calendar account for this to work uh, obviously so go ahead and hit enter on that and you will get a week view of all your calendars now another command that you can run very similar is same exact thing except for instead of cal w we do cal m at the end and that will give us a month view so go ahead and type that in and hit enter and uh, let it grab that information from your account and then you can see you've got a whole month calendar here with all your stuff color coded. Uh, next we're going to look at how to add something to the calendar quick and simple. So we're going to do gcal dash dash user your username password and then quick for quick add and then you can just type something like inside uh, single quotes or double quotes record another or whatever you want you know mine says record another bash video tomorrow at 4 30 p.m. and it knows to add you can say Friday at 4 30 p.m. or Friday and we'll put it at midnight on Friday so you can be very you know just type it out like you're talking to someone and say the date and time or when you can say yesterday tomorrow today whatever if you just put a time like 4 30 or 4 p.m. or 3 a.m. it will put it for today's date so go ahead and we'll hit that and then we'll run the calendar uh, the week calendar again and we'll see that we've added that so once we've uh, added the quick add we'll do our calendar command and we'll look at tomorrow and you can see right here at 4 30 p.m. it says record another bash video so that is how you quickly add something to the Google Calendar um, the GCAL has a lot of other options that I'm not really going to go over um, here, but you can type in GCAL to get a lot of uh, what the commands are. You can get an agenda view. You just put a end, uh, start and end time. It gives you examples on what those can be. You can say from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. and it will give you the agenda for that day. Uh, you can put dates, you know. List will list all your calendars. If you're like me, you have multiple calendars, not just one. So you can categorize them in different things. And that will list all your available calendars. You can search for certain keywords in your Google Calendar. And you can also uh, customize the output, uh, different colors of different calendars and just how it's displayed. And you can also even, uh, somewhere in here, I'm not seeing it right now, right here, width. You can decide the width of each column so you can adjust the size of the calendar that's displayed uh, you can do NC for don't use colors so it'll just be a plain black and white or whatever color your terminals are set up for anyway it has a lot of options you can even create a config file and store your settings in there like your username and password so you don't have to take them out each time but then your password sitting in a plain text file on your hard drive I uh, don't really know if you want to leave your password sitting around unencrypted, but if you wanted to, you can do that. You can specify, speci you can tell it what uh, configure file you want to use. So it has a lot of options, uh, and I use Google Calendar all the time, and I think that this is just you know, a great way to quickly grab it from scripts so you can grab certain things and input them in your scripts and have it forward it to you somewhere else or whatever you need to do. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Visit bashscripts.info for more video tutorials like this one. Have a great day.